Hi, welcome to Infusion Health, the podcast. I'm comedian Chris Patrick, a.k.a. Self-Proclaimed Power Man, and I'm here with my co-host and significant other, Rach. Hey, guys. Now, today, uh, today's show, this being this our first podcast in 2022, what we decided to do was do a year in review, and we're going to look back at some of the podcasts that we've done throughout the year, and in researching this and looking back and listening to the old pod, um, our other podcast, I couldn't believe, <laughs> and I was just amazed at the body of work that we've done so far, and we're going to talk about how we got this started and some of the things we decided to do in getting this podcast. So I'm really excited to look back, and one of the things for me when doing the podcast was that um, we we set this out to, um, and as Rach would tell you, you know, to look at Eastern and Western medicine, but one of the things that it's that's happened to me is I've actually grown, and I've act, and we hope we've hoped the audience has too. I've actually grown and I've actually learned a lot doing this and it's been, it's been really fun and I um, can't wait to future what we're going to do for 2022. What do you got to say, Rach? So first off, I want to thank everybody that has been our guest on here and for everybody that's listened. Welcome to 2022. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about um, how this, how this all got started. You, you started out in essential oil and you wanted, you ended up wanting to do this, and you you thought of the name, and you thought of this, and so um, in the short run, yeah, yeah, I started in essential oils, but I started with pain, and I needed education on how to get out of that pain. Mm-hmm. And we said last week we were going to put you on the hot seat, you know, and so <laughs> you started on a journey this week on what did we do on all these episodes? And you got like blown away on how many episodes we've done. Yeah. It's, it's like close to 40 shows. And like I said, um, you, you go into this wanting to teach people, but in the process of some of the stuff that we've tried to um, put forward and put out there, um, I've actually learned a lot and I've actually you get educated yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I've actually grown a little bit, especially with some of the, um, some of the podcasts we've done. And um, one of okay, well, let's some of the some of the things we started because one of the things is we we had to listen to other podcasts before we started ours just to get an idea of what we wanted to do. And one of the things one of the things we found out is that when we weren't going to uh, to curse, and because there's this other pod, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mention names. We do I'm gonna, have some cursing on here, but we're not gonna be like, yeah beep 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 yeah beep, yeah beep. yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's this one podcast, a lady does this podcast, and it was just like, and some of the stuff she was saying, I mean, I used to do stand-up, so I'm used to it, and it doesn't bother me, but I'm just like, man, she's cursing and saying some stuff, but we decided when we started the pod, when we started doing this was that we didn't want to do that because that's going to cut off half our audience, so we yeah. wanted to be more educational, and one of the things I got to mention is that when we started doing this, um, we it was a conscious effort to make it 30 minutes. And one of the things, I, one of the comments I get is like, I love your guys' podcast. I love the fact that it's only 30 minutes. I can listen to it on the way home and all that. Because we thought uh, talking an hour and a half, which we've had some shows where we've talked like. Or um, three hours. I've yeah. heard one person say, why aren't you guys three hours? And I'm sorry, but no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we, no. Want, we wanted to make it short, sweet, and we wanted to make something that you can listen to it. You don't have to sit here for five hours. You don't have to listen to it three or four times to get, to get it all. You can listen to, you know, you get, you can sit down, you can listen to it, you can listen to it on the way home. And that's one of the compliments we've gotten. And, you know, we're, we're still keeping it 30 minutes. I think the longest is like 33 minutes. Some but, of the other comments that we've gotten from guests is that we've really gotten like, we really appreciate you guys. You, you're fun loving and, you know, I, you're really comfortable to talk to. Yeah. And also um, there were some things that happened, um, outside and as you know we we do the podcast from uh, minneapolis and some of the things that happened in minneapolis and minnesota um over the years that and it's made national news some of this stuff that happened where we were doing the podcast and we gave and we're going to talk about that later as we talk about the shows but anyways starting we started out our first podcast april 13th and the title of the show was um and you can look this up where, where can they look this up anywhere you get your podcast anywhere you get anywhere your you, podcast this one was called our baby was born and what we were talking about was um, what we were about and Eastern Western medicine. And at that time, it was just Eastern and Western medicine. Yeah. And then things started happening, you know, yeah. in our world, in yeah. our culture. And, you know, we needed to sit back and say, do we want to be more than Eastern and Western medicine? 
Yeah. And we decided as a couple, absolutely we do. We want to educate people in diversity, yeah. in the LGBTQ community, in Eastern and Western medicine. And one of the things is too, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a snowball effect. I mean, we had, we had a format of what we wanted to do and how we wanted to take it. But then all of a sudden this thing kind of got a mind of its own and it started going here and here and here. And like I said, I was learning a lot and I was like, okay, we're, we're branching out. And one of the things that was really cool is once we got it started, people were contacting us wanting to be on the show because they liked the show. Yeah. Um, one of the things that I have to say that this podcast has helped me is with the energy healers it helped me with my PTSD, but it also educated you. Yeah. With my PTSD. Oh yeah. And then we did our second show, people pleasing, self-sabotage. False thinking. Now, one of the things about doing that show, we did that show on a Sunday. We, re we recorded that show on a Sunday. And I was talking to a friend of mine. He goes, D -d do you see what's going on in Brooklyn Park? I go, what? And I turned on the TV. And that's when um, Dante Wright was um, was was shot, was fatally shot. And I remember we started the show out. We didn't we didn't know anything yeah. about um, yeah. about the case or anything, but we did give him a shout out. And it, it was very um, important to us that we say that at the show and then. Later on, as things get, we found out what happened, and we didn't we didn't take any sides. We just said thoughts and prayers go out to to him and his family, and we were really really sad to hear that. But you know, um, we still had to do a show, but we did have to give him a shout out. Yep. And since then, we've had a cop on here. Yeah, and we've yeah. had other diversity issues on the podcast since then. Oh yeah, oh yeah, because we we wanted to get both sides. And then we had um, our third show, and our guest was actually, <laughs> I think she was our first guest, our daughter, who's a vegetarian, actually a pespitarian. Yep. She eats like eggs and fish and stuff like that, but she doesn't eat beef, pork, and she has a real strict diet. And she's a teenage, she was, she was a teenager. She's in her last, she's in her last couple, of, she's 18 now, but at the time she did, we did the show, she was 17, and we talked about her being a teenage um teenage uh vegetarian which as you know is kind of hard nowadays and during the pride fest she decided to be a vegetarian but she she found out for herself she would rather be a pescatarian yeah she unless she, she tried to be a vegan yeah <laughs> yeah she tried to be a vegan and found out it's better well i think the thing is she went right into veganism like turn of the day and it's just like you gotta slowly ease into this you can't and just literally soul searching she she decided that wasn't for her and then uh, this brings us to our next show, which was um, it was really exciting to have her on because me and Rachel are part of the New Thought religion. So we had a show with our um, with our Reverend Reverend Joanne Bewald and uh, New uh, New Thought religion and Ernest Holmes, um, kind of the father of New Thought religion. And we did the show, and she re she really liked it. She really said, "Man, this was like a conversation. It was great. It was fun." Yep. <laughs> And then, um, and she had done other shows before, and she she's like, I love how you guys do yours. Yeah, yeah, and it was it was a really interesting show. It was really a interesting show and a fun fun conversation. And I just want to throw this out there for whoever is listening, who you know, if you want to join us, please do. Oh yeah, please do, uh, Rachel. Um, they can you can contact us on loveinfusionhealth at gmail dot com. Yeah, we'd love to have you on. Let us know and. Uh, Rach does all the booking. I do some of the booking, but Rach does the booking and just contact Rach, email Rach, and we'll take it from there. Um, this next show, I begged and begged and begged to have her on. And she's like, what is this? I don't know. I said, he's a friend of mine. We got to have him on. We had my friend, uh, Bruce Brown, who's a real, who's a real estate broker. And he talked about real estate and how to buy a house and how to get a loan and stuff like that. And uh, it, I thought it turned out to be a good podcast. It was a lot. And he he had a good time and he liked it, too. And he, he was like, yeah, we, we definitely got to do another one. I was like, oh, it was yeah, definitely. financially educational. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> one thing that I would like to have this year was probably a banker. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. So if you're a banker out there, um, want to discuss loans and um, how to improve your credit, stuff like that, we'd love to love to have you on. Uh, this next one. um, this one, I think we went to, was it Fairbold or whatever? Colleen, yeah. Colleen Godfrey? Yeah. Okay. And that I mean, <laughs> that was our first one going into YouTube also. Yeah, we, <laughs> what was interesting about this show. <laughs> yeah. wait, 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 okay, okay. We needed to do two episodes with um, this one. We, we, we go to do the show, right? And 
Rachel has, she gives Rachel this treatment and Rachel kind of had a breakthrough. I'll let her talk more about that. Yeah, I had a breakthrough and you guys can watch that on the YouTube channel that mm, my breakthrough, but we ended up having to do two shows because in the first one, <laughs> I'm not talking and 15 <laughs> minutes into this, he's looking at me like, You've lost your mind. We're 15 minutes into this. You should have spent t- talking by five minutes at least. And you're still not talking. So at 15 minutes, I'm like, we're going to have to do a second show because I'm still in the trance of this energy I just had. Yeah, she she had had. What was that? You had an energy energy it was energy reading uh, out of yeah. other, uh, many different types of energy readings out there you guys can totally look it up yeah she 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 um well colleen godfrey she's a uh inter 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 just um so, somatic therapist um yep inter integrational somatic therapist and we go to do okay rachel she did a treatment on rachel and rachel had a breakthrough um I let her. Um, I don't know if I should say what she was, but Rachel had a breakthrough I'm and she got you guys uh, just go watch it. I'll it's, say I, she she got really really emotional. I mean, it a lot came out. And okay, so after that, we we sit down to do the podcast, and we go to do the podcast. Rachel said two words: "Hi, everybody," and that was it. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm interviewing guys, her, I, I and I'm looking at Rachel like it. like Are you gonna come into the conversation. So finally. I, I ask a question and I say, and I refer Rachel to it. And Rachel finally comes out and is like, listen, y'all, I just had a treat. <laughs> I can't talk right now. We're definitely going to do number. We're definitely going to do a second episode. And I'm explain to you what actually happened. <laughs> so in that, we went there to do one podcast, which ended up tur- turning to be two podcasts, <laughs> a, a two part podcast that we, we did that day she she aired them different but it turned out to be a really good podcast what i think is funny is that chris has had since then his own energy reading and now he understands you don't do a podcast after you have an energy reading because you're still like processing all of this yeah well we did one with and we'll get down to when we our friend of ours who's also um a church member um mary ellen she does uh she does car um she Many do, different different. She does energies. massages and Many. energies reading, yeah. uh, and she did one on me. And I'm doing. I did the podcast, but my head was just a little. And I even said, like, have, <laughs> my head's a little lightheaded because I just kind of had one. It's kind of, it kind of. Let's just say it slowly kicked in. <laughs> <laughs> and then we did one um, around this. I think was the was the anniversary of George Floyd's death. This one was called Eight yeah. Minutes and Forty Six Seconds. Um, and that we were look, we were trying to find. Um, because one of the things that happened with that, with all, with the George Floyd death, there was a lot of rioting going on and stuff like this. And this was a year after, and we tried to find um, an interracial couple because me and Rachel are um, interracial. I'm white, she's black. No, I'm kidding. I'm like, she's. I think it's the opposite, but okay. Um, I'm African American. She's um, white, Norwegian, or. <laughs> but anyway, mixed dog. <laughs> so yeah, me too. I got some Native American in me. I got some. I could have some Irish in me. But anyways, we we did the show and it, it was a very emotional show for us because talking about this. And we also had to talk about um, our kids are biracial and talking to them and about educating them. Yeah. And yeah. How important it is to educate your children on this. You know, I had two of them that were already awoke, but I had three of my other five children that weren't. And were looking at me and Chris for answers. Yeah. And what, what yeah. happened during that whole time? Yeah, and we and it was one of those things where we had to explain, you know, race relations and um, why are race and some people aren't going to look at you, you being biracial. Some people are just going to look at you as black. Some people are going to, you know, and it was it was very it was very emotional, but very also um, educational, and also too it was it was very hard because sometimes these these issues have to come up and these issues have to be talked about. And um, our next show, we actually went to um, a place called Hopkins, Minnesota. There was a guy who had a um, black entrepreneur, um, African-American entrepreneur, and he has um, had a fruit bowl stand at um, the Midtown uh, Global Market. And we did a, um, a podcast with him and he really liked it. And um, we really liked his product. He has these fruit bowls he sells. And, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. So good. So good if you get there. And then um, we did one with Rach on her EO journey. Yep. 
you know, and I've found healing in my heart since then. And, you know, I love my essential oil. So you guys have to, have to listen to that one. Moving on to our next episode. So we did one about um, the LB, LB, LGBTQ community. And we we did a talk with our kids and um, talked about being. Um, Who L- they are. Yeah. Yeah. You and know, the, truly having a, that open conversation yeah. about who they are. Yeah, and I would I would suggest if you have kids who um who are um in that community or part of that community, um definitely definitely listen to that podcast because it was it's very eye opening. It was very eye opening for me, especially me because it's it's hard for me to because I was raised old school. You know, boys are boys and girls are girls, and that's just the way it is. And you know. But having that conversation, having that dialogue and getting that out in the open, like I said, I learned a lot and I hope they learned some from me. This next one, we actually went to uh, Silver Lake, Minnesota. This was a lady we met. Um, we actually met her at the state fair at a, um, a health, healthy life expo or something like that. She grows her own her own CBD. And we went to the farm. There's also I think she's also on the YouTube. Um, yeah. Our second one on YouTube. Yeah, Bridget Bridget Pinder uh, with Grounded Gardens, and she talked about CBD and growing her own CBD and um, being her farmer. Yeah, being, being her, her farmer. farmer. <laughs> but the the funny thing about that now, um, I've been in the entertainment business. I was in the entertainment business like twenty years, and um, I I was one. I guess I was one of the lucky ones, but. Um, I never did. Dr- I never got into drinking. I never did drugs and all that. So we go we we go out there to do the shoot to shoot you know the video and to have the podcast. And she had this thing on her on her counter and these little rice crispy bars, these little brownies and all that. And I had <laughs> eaten all day, <laughs> so I'm like munching on them because I was hungry. And she's like, "You you got high there?" I'm like, "No, I didn't." She goes, you were eating there. I said, no, I didn't eat anything there. I just munched down. <laughs> I said, I was just eating those little Rice Krispie he bars. He was munching <laughs> and munching and munching. He was munching on the peanut butter bomb bombs. He was munching on the Rice Krispie bars. I hadn't eaten that day. And, and I was just like. munching and munching. He's like, I just had that little thing over there. I'm like, you're feeling good right now. Aren't and you? Rachel's like, Rachel's like, uh, Chris, um, those had marijuana. Those had CBD. And I'm like, they did? <laughs> I said, oh, they were good. I, mean, I think that's maybe because it gave me the munchies. That's why I kept munching. <laughs> but um, another great story. Uh, later, a few months later, uh, Bridget had a, um, what she called Hemp Fest, who, who I hope to be out there next year, uh, this year selling strudel. And they Chris has his own business. If you guys are interested in trying. <laughs> Nature's Ice and Strudel um, website will be up hopefully in the next few months. So anyways, we go to Hempfest and people were there rolling rolling up their own their own um CBD and they were passing and other farmers were there. Yeah, and, other farmers were there and, and um um dealer or not dealers but um what do I want to say? Um farmers, um merchants. Yes, merchants. merchants. That- and they were rolling up their own um their own CBD joints and they were smoking them and they were deciding who has the best CBD. And um, now, granted, not all. OK, in Minnesota, CBD does not get you high, but it makes you feel good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's not. It's not weed. <laughs> Let's just get that. Out it was, there was, yeah, and she was get, she was very specific. on No, 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 no. It's not weed. OK, so they're passing around and I didn't I didn't have any. But um, it was raining out there. We're all under this tent, you know, to stay out of the rain. And they're passing them around. And our 18-year-old daughter, I said, stay away from that. She goes, I'm 18. I was like, okay. We were glad she was with us, okay? So we're driving home. And as you know, she's a pescatarian. And so as she's like, she needs something to eat. So we're talking. We're she hadn't t- ate all day. She, yeah, she hadn't ate all day because we went to another another um, outdoor thing over by, um, over in uh, Wyzetta, Wyzetta, Minnesota. And I was telling Chris, we need to get food in her, and she's refusing food everywhere. Yeah. So, <laughs> so um, we're talking. Me and Rachel are having a conversation. I said, "Will she eat coleslaw?" And Rachel goes, "What?" I said, "No, no. Will Will uh, Lizzie eat coleslaw?" And she's like, "Oh, that kind of came out of wet." And then all of a sudden, our son goes, "Yeah, Chris, that kind of." Ca-. Next thing you know, we're driving home. I'm driving. The whole car is cracking up. <laughs> Everybody's laughing, laughing for 20 minutes about coleslaw. 
Next thing you know, um, our daughter is just way, way, way off the rail. She's crying, <laughs> cracking jokes and laughing at everything. And <laughs> I was like, man, this, this is crazy. And Rachel goes, well, at least the first time she got that way, she was with us. And it just kind of shows you. Um, the, and we had the conversation later. With yeah. Her. Yeah. And it just goes to show you how, you know, um, if this was back in the 70s, 70s and 80s when I grew up, that would never happen. You know? Then um, we we did a um, <laughs> that was fun. We got more stories. <laughs> I was mad I didn't have my shoot out there because everybody's small. I'm like, man, I could have cleaned up on this. <laughs> but anyways, Just um, your nature's eyes sweat out there would have been good. And then we did one with the lady uh, Julie Chapman. She's a reflexologist, and she had this thing where. Um, how massaging feet can help with LG and stuff like that. And that was an interesting conversation <laughs> because um, she was talking about something how- you guys need to know about reflexology is reflexology is about what's in your feet, about how it can connect to everything in your body. Yeah. 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 Cause like sometimes if you have like a headache, if somebody comes up and gives you a good foot massage, it can also it can also help your headache because there's parts in the feet that connect with other parts of the body. Um, uh, Asians Asians have been doing that, um, like China and um, the Asian countries have been doing this for years. Then we also did did one on. Um, oh, this next one was um, really 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 an eye opener, and this this one out of out of all the shows we've done, this one really 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 stood out to me. It was like whoa. <laughs> Um, we did, we did a show with Ellie Krug. Now Ellie Krug hosts a show on, um, AM nine fifty uh, 10 o'clock on Saturday mornings, 10 to 11. Then also on Sunday, Ellie Krug, uh, was a lawyer, uh, went to school, went to a good school education, got, um, got her law degree, became a lawyer. Um, and then, um, was married. I think they adopted two daughters and turns out she's transgendered. Now, one of the reason this stood out with me, because when we first started doing the podcast and Rachel wanted to wanted to deal with some stuff with LBGTQ community, and I, I said, we got to get Ellie Krug on the show. Now, this was one of the shows. First of all, we don't pay our guests. Our guests come on voluntarily and all that. But this was one person I, I thought I was going to have to pay. So I went to her website and I looked up her website and I sent her an email and I said, Hey, you know, we do a podcast. We'd love to have you on the show. Now, granted, we're, we were still kind of in the infancy in the infant, <laughs> infancy, we were the babies. infancy. And I was like, I don't know if she do, but just goes to show you never hurts to ask. So I emailed her twice. I gave her my number. Finally, she calls me up and she's like, well, why would you want to have me on the show? And I said, well, this is what we deal with. This is what and she goes, yeah, I'd, I'd love to do the show. So I had the conversation with her, and she's yeah. like, "Yes, absolutely." Yeah. So, Turn me on. so we, I was excited that here we got somebody, a local celebrity, who's on the radio that's actually going to come to our house and do us. So Rachel had to go to work. I woke up and I just started cleaning the house. I had to clean everything, <laughs> clean the house, wiped everything down because I I didn't want her to come in because let's just say our kids aren't the cleanest. So I had our to clean house up. This isn't dirty, but you know, yeah, we we have, hold a higher standard, especially when guests come in. Yeah, yes, but yeah, when whenever <laughs> like my mom was like, she had people come. My mom would clean the whole house, even if they were coming in for for anything. She would clean because it, it's a thing in the in the black community. I don't want people seeing my dirty seeing a dirty house because. They talk about your house with dirty. So, <laughs> so anyways, I cleaned the house and she came and she came to the door. She, she goes, hi, are you Chris? And I said, yeah, I shook her hand. She goes, I'm Ellie. We sat down to do the show and she goes, we'll talk about anything. I think she said, um, don't talk about her personal life as far as her kids and stuff like that. And it turned out to be a great, great show. And I learned a lot. Cause like I said, um, when I was growing up, boys were boys and girls were girls, you know, and if a kid wanted to wear a dress, yeah, you don't do that. You know, nah, nah. Yep. <laughs> and I learned and it was it was and I think the reason it stands out to me so so much is because she she was living this. She had this inside her for so, so long. I mean, even tried to try to live a straight lifestyle, got married, kids, all that. And she even said like she um 
and this is her words. 11 became something different for her. Yeah, yeah. And it became where she decided that was her time to claim her true self. Yeah, yeah. And like she said, she she had gotten married. She threw all her bras and panties away. She said that lasted like six months. And like Rachel said, 9-11. And it was such a big impact on her that she decided to be who she was. And um, she's now transgender. She's a woman. And this is my this is her words, not mine. She says on her show, she goes, I, I sound like a dude, but I look like a chick. And she was the nicest person. And not only that, but um, our daughters had just graduated. Um and she asked our oldest daughter, you know, um, one of our oldest daughters, what do you want to do? She goes, you know, give me a call. I love I love helping out young humans. If you got in, you know, I can help you any way you want to go. So she was really, really nice. And it was such a such a good interview. And one of the reasons it stood, it stands out to me, because a few a few months later, a close friend of mine, her daughter got married. And I asked her about um, about her brother, her older brother. And she goes, no, she's not. He's now. And I said, now we, mm. Now, just so our listeners know, this is a friend of yours. Yeah. This is not Ellie. Yeah. Yeah. This is a friend of mine. And she goes, I said, yeah, where's your brother? She goes, oh, they, him and his wife got divorced. He's now, he's now basically a she. And I said, oh, what? I said, what? He goes, no, she goes by. And I said, oh, what? And Rachel goes, you remember we interviewed Ellie Krug? I went, oh, I said, oh, okay. And I, um, later on. About a month or so later, I had a conversation with her. She goes, well, I still recognize him as my older brother. I still call him, you know, by, I said, well, you got to understand. And this is what I found out when we interviewed Ellie. Cause I said, well, you know, you got to understand too, is that he's probably been living with this for a long time. And, and I think that helped you yeah, be educated because yeah. otherwise you would have came, came with that at a, at a different conversation, right? Yeah. 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 And I was just like, well, you know, you got to understand that, you know, he's probably had this and, and again, married, had kids and all that. I said, you, you know, he's probably had this inside of him for a long time and he let it out. And, you know, I just think that, you know, it was kind of sad that you, you live in with this and, and you want to do this and, you know, see, that's why I love the saying when you know better, you do better. Exactly. 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 When you're educated, you, you can give people that education. Yeah, exactly. 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 Well, with the time and it, <laughs> it was fun actually going over the old shows and stuff yeah. like that, you know? Um, well, you know, we can pick this up in April when it's actually our anniversary into the show. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, another, another shows I, I do got to give honor mention when we, um, and it was great to have him on the show and he's family, my bro-in-law, your brother, um, interviewing your, your brother, John Cass, who's a, um, um, I got my notes here. He's a and your cousin, the cop. Yeah, my cut, my cousin, my cousin, the the cop. He's a uh, neurosurgeon or something. Like that. Yeah, no. What kind of surgeon is he? You would know. Oh. Uh, oh, then some other some other ones. Um, definitely, definitely when we um. Oh, he's a PA surgeon <laughs> uh, interviewing the, the Midtown Farmers Market. Now, one of the things that was interesting about them is that they were actually open during the pandemic. So oh, people yeah. could get their the uh, fruits and pandemic. People yeah. Like looked at them of how they stayed open. Yeah. So to... people could get their fruits and vegetables. That was that was a great. And they were they were so inviting. They they brought it. They right. brought us in and they had a good time and they. Yeah, yeah it was. <laughs> and we also interviewed um, Nehemiah and his wife, who yes. also sell sell uh, chi, uh, chai and chai. tea, chai and tea and um, granola. Yes. And they're, you know, again, a young, um, young business. They were that was great interview. And it was Not so young anymore. <laughs> young anymore. <laughs> and how they started, they actually started. Um, he got hurt at work and they started doing this and it's been a business for him. And it was, it was, that was really a, a good interview to do. Yep. And, um, some other, uh, interviews I think we've done. Um, yeah. Like my, like I said, I can, we can totally pick this up again and oh, celebrating yeah. all the other people that we've had on here Oh yeah, in April yeah. on oh, our yeah. anniversary. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. And also too, the um, anniversary of the show, not also too, we, we've, we did, we did a, we did another, uh, that's in that, 
that it, that aired um it was all it also aired this this year was we did an interview with your dad who's a um who's a war historian yes and, and we had a great great conversation channel, and just came out you guys need to listen to that the civil war how it changed western mental health or western um um, medicine medicine yeah yeah we had we had a great conversation on um it because like i said i love history but we had a really really good conversation with him the only thing um i regret about that we should have did two episodes i think he i think he, he didn't have time to do another but um hopefully hopefully we might have him on again yeah. and then um he knows plenty about the other wars too oh so uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so um it's been it's been a great year and like I said I couldn't believe at the body of work we've had so far it's just like I, listening back to some of it and making notes, I was like man we've done this <laughs> and the energy you know like I said has changed me so yeah much. yeah and and like I said we we did this we did this to educate people and to to get other things out there and other other points of view and and other different Eastern and Western medicine to know both sides. But in the process, we ended up learning ourselves, which is always, always a good thing. Yep. You know, and what we would like to do, um, we can always have that as a conversation next week of the things that we would like to reach out and do in the year of 2022. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so. definitely. I definitely want to have um, more, um, uh, we, we had a, um, we had a personal trainer on and that turned out to be a good, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Last story. We, we go to do this and I was so excited because, you know, I work out and all that and we do the interview. We walk and she goes, you just kept talking and talking. You got to let her talk. <laughs> you were so into it. You got, <laughs> so he was not allowing the trainer to talk at all. I'm like, you know, you know, you're around too much. Yeah. You need to let the guest talk. <laughs> we, I, yeah, I didn't say it too much during the interview, but oh my goodness, I left there and I'm like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys, next week we will talk more about what what we are going to do in 2022 for you guys. And if you guys have great ideas, you can reach me at loveinfusion at gmail.com or on our um love um love infusion um uh um website or you guys can get us on infusion health on um our facebook page so yeah mm. totally all right well I'll let rich call, close us out so history is born on lines of hate on here we are trying to build lines of love and teach you guys how to be your best advocate until next week have a great one take it easy